What's up you guys, it's Andrew here at the Deer Creek Golf Course in Ajax, Ontario. We're here at the TFP Classic. There's gonna be a bunch of NHL players, media members, and Gibson's whiskey here. We're gonna try not to get too drunk. I think my cameraman's drunk already. Let's go see what we can ask these people. And, you know, maybe get kicked out, maybe not. Do you think Justin Trudeau, how good is the golf game? Well, hopefully not as bad as a political game. Is it hot enough for you is my first question. Uh, it's Africa hot out here. So, yeah, it's hot. I feel like I'm on a safari. I haven't seen any leopards or cheetahs yet, but it's hot out here. What are we doing here? Uh, we actually have a, three matches with other guys mm -hmm. going and then try and win this. So there's a couple couple of dollars on the line, so we're trying to have a good day. Oh, it's not fun, uh, and we're raising some money. I, we were doing some 50-50 some raffle tickets to help uh, youth hockey, which is a great thing. Have a great day in the sun with some friends, uh, and I think not to embarrass myself on the golf course. Those are my main goals. How are you doing out here today? Do we have any goals set for our scores? Who's going to come out on top, do you think? Uh, there's a younger group of hockey players behind us, the Perfetti, Cardwell, mm -hmm. Jack Thompson group. They're... Uh, they're good players and they're young and they're athletic and uh, they can score well, so we're chasing them. What can we teach these young guys about, you know, keeping it keeping it nice and clean out here and just uh, basically controlling the alcohol consumption? Uh, just remind them that uh, we got to skate at 9 a.m. tomorrow, so hopefully that works out. A little ish talking by Sagan there, saying that you guys have a lot to learn. Any comments on that? Golf-wise. Yeah, well, maybe hockey-wise he has a point, but I don't know about golf-wise. Yeah, we're, we're, we're doing okay for ourselves. Yeah, I wouldn't say golf is the right wording for that. He, went, he and I were partners last week, so I can't believe he's talking shit already. Yeah. Um, only a week after, but no, I think uh, we could teach him a few things about golf, but uh, on the ice, maybe we have a few things to learn, that's for sure. Mustaches yep. are really coming back these days. They Baseball, are. hockey, yeah. they're on the rise. What's the inspiration here? Is it the need I to like be I like to think that I actually brought them back. Yeah. It's been since two years prior to COVID that, yeah. that I've been rocking this, so... I like to think I'm actually the one that brought it back. I can't grow one, so I, I don't know if I'm the right guy to ask there. I wish I could some days, but uh, yeah, it's not up my repertoire yet. At the end of the day, um, <laughs> you know, there's nothing better than having a little crumb in the mustache and having a snack for later. And I think more people are kind of catching on to that. So save a little bit for later. And at the end of the day, you don't have to shave your whole face. You can leave up here. Yeah, I'm nowhere close to a mustache. <laughs> I'd need about two years. So Yeah, I think it's just... You know, it starts with one guy, whether it's in the league or on the team, and, um, you know, anyone kind of takes it over from there. But uh, a guy like myself has a harder time growing it than some other ones. So Blonde hair, it's it's hard. Uh, it just looks brutal. But I, I do uh, dabble with just for men, but uh, <laughs> I get ripped in the room for it. So uh, <laughs> I can't win either way. If I don't have one, I get ripped. If I uh, diet, I get ripped. So it's good. What connection do you see between, like, the Lanny McDonald's and the mustache heroes of the 80s and, you know, current millennial and Gen Z guys growing the mustaches? They, they started it, so, so kudos to them. They rocked it, and back then, you know, I, I can imagine, um, you know, it was very popular amongst, you know, everybody. So at the end of the day, I think guys look back now and, like, okay, if that guy can rock it and look what he did, you know, if I can do half what he did and rock the same mustache, why not do it? You're really, you're like a pioneer, a modern pioneer, so we appreciate you. Yeah, thank you, appreciate it. You gotta get yours going. What I'm learning, is, it's getting pretty difficult to remain extremely PG and non-political here at this event. We're gonna try to save some of that for the end, you know, just get right into the nitty gritty of all of it. Right now we're asking people about booze, about golf. Is that really what we want to be asking? Is that the troubling thing right now when there's so many problems with immigration, carbon tax? overall disgust with our local community but for now we're going to keep it nice and friendly golf hot sauce booze everything like that he's got a course banquet got group photos going on in the background i don't know what i'm doing here mystery camera person x so what's your favorite drink on the golf course though rye no question how what do you think you're going to try here today are you are you a sunshine tea guy do you prefer mint do you maybe want to knock back a few Miller Lights at some point? It's a tough call. I'm going to try it all. You're going to try it all? <laughs> try it all, yeah. I, I came here 100% in. I'm going all the way in. Do we have a favorite uh, drink here we've had today so far? Uh, not yet. I liked, there was like a mint seltzer we had earlier, but I'm looking forward to the Gibsons here. Well, that's great branding yeah. for us. I yeah. appreciate that. Yeah. How much can we relate golf celebrations to, to hockey sellies? Is there a favorite that we can, throughout time, maybe bring over to, to golf? That we got the Tiger Woods fist pump. Yeah. We've got a lot of points. Is there anything we can bring over? Maybe a Solani or something like that? Maybe, but what are you going to throw on the air? It's a question. 
that's a tough one. But no, I think hockey celebrations are a bit better than golf ones. The fist pump's nice, but that's yeah, about it. Good. Yeah, a good Tiger one. Yeah, maybe Solani. Um, I don't know. I think it'd be pretty funny for funny if a golfer, you know, brought in like the soccer, you know, two two knee slide. That'd be pretty shirt pretty off. Pretty hilarious. Yeah. I don't know if you want to take, see the shirt <laughs> off of golfers, but they'd have tough tan lines. But that'd be funny. <laughs> what kind of sellies do you think can be carried over from hockey to golf? Do you want to? Go swimming, maybe some OV push-ups, anything that comes to mind? On a day like this, I'd love to go swimming, but I don't know if that's that's allowed. But, um, yeah, I think there's some that can kind of switch over, but obviously on ice there's a lot more you can do with it, and um, you're going at a little bit of a different speed. So He's a professional guy. He's a professional. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. Thank you. Take it easy. Oh, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ride the stick. You're going to ride the stick? I'm going to ride the stick, man. What about a team Usulani? Throwing it up in the air, shooting it out of the air. We'll try that on the next hole, too. I'm in. <laughs> what type of celebrations are we hoping to bring to golf from hockey? Um, I've been throwing out an Ovechkin push-up, maybe a Solani gunning down of a golf ball, anything we think could translate to this sport. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, I stick with the fist pump usually. Uh, the Tiger Woods? Yeah, Tiger Woods fist pump. I try and watch the PGA guys, how they fist pump, and bring that into my game, but... Hockey's a tough one to kind of translate the celebrations to here, but yeah, maybe the screaming aspect of it, I don't know. I, I'd say probably the violin. I like the violin. A couple guys at Michigan do it, so I think I'm going to bring the violin out here. Have any thoughts on that? Yeah, most of the times when I make a putt, I like to ride my putter around the green, so uh, Happy Gilmore style, but yeah. We'll Happy Gilmore 2 in the works, I believe. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm starring, yeah, so should be good. <laughs> what are you most looking forward to about the Olympics? They're running right now. Do you have any bold predictions that you want to make? Because this is going to air while the Olympics are still going on. you want to make any bold predictions? Maybe it's in water polo. <laughs> Maybe it's equestrian. Uh, Canada men's national basketball team. I have a really good feeling they're going to get to the gold medal game versus the U.S. And I think they're going to give the U.S. a run for their money. So it's going to be, we'll see. I don't want to go as bold as to say they're going to win gold because whatever, but I think they're, they're going to be right there. Last question, the Caitlin Clark not being on the team. Mm. How do we feel? I, w I would love to have seen her there, right? Like, I think all of us would have liked to have seen her. It's too bad she was left off, but there's... You know, listen, she's in her rookie year in the WNBA. There'll be plenty of Caitlin Clark in future Olympics. I'm sure in 2028 in Los Angeles, she'll probably be the captain of that team. Who's the worst dresser in, in the league, boys? Or on your team, your friend? Jeez, I have no idea. That's a yeah, crazy tough. question. That's, that's a tough that's question. A lot of people. Yeah. I could go we more to towards my couple, team. Uh, a couple minutes on that one. Give, give them some, someone from the team. Uh, Brandon Cole is the worst dresser. <laughs> <laughs> the, let's get the full sentence in here for the clip. Brandon Coe is. Brandon Coe, worst for dressed. Ajax, Ontario. We're in his hometown today, so uh, make sure he's he's tagged if this gets posted anywhere. Worst dresser I've ever seen. All right. All right. We're holding out for the next Dennis Rodman of the league, I guess. All right. <laughs> we're wrapping up here from the golf course. Mystery camera person X. 136 is a, is the degrees outside. It's the amount of men we've watched flirt with bartenders. It's the amount of questions I had that I couldn't ask because they would have been deemed inappropriate. But the hockey players were great. They were willing to talk about basically anything. You saw it. We're going to head home now. Probably going to take a cold shower, and that's not a weird joke. That's just me being extremely hot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Actually, I think we're going to get somebody else to do the outro, one of the bartenders or something. But we had a good time. Mystery Camera Person X got some free food, some old egg salad sandwich, if I had to guess. We met some people, some liberal people. But we got along, and isn't that what it's all about? Don't forget to check the Patreon every single week for new podcast drops and advanced footage from these videos like this. And we'll have some exclusive videos for you guys coming up in the near future. Remember... Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Is that my catchphrase? I don't remember anymore. Yeah. 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 Quizzy from the wall. That's why. No, 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 baby. Don't do that. It's that big wolf bastard. Hip hop cancer. Bust in the mouth. Show my kids no ransom. Niggas can't stand us. Hoes romances. But I never give a fuck. I wanted my bands up. I don't give a fuck what your ass did. Niggas mad I'm hot.